Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gilbert. I'm a second year medical student studying here in the Philippines. And I'm just trying to make videos to help people out because this is the stuff that I wish I knew before applying to medical school. There are currently 58 medical schools here in the Philippines. How do you figure out which ones to apply to? If you want to know the answer, then stay tuned. All right, let's get to the video. The first thing that you should do before applying to a medical school is make sure that you're actually eligible to apply to that medical school. What do I mean by that? That you have the right NMAT scores, you have all the right classes, you have all the required credits, you have all the other requirements that the school needs from all of their applicants. Aside from all of these things, what are the other things that you should consider? The first thing that you should do is think about your long-term goals. What are your long-term goals? Where do you see yourself in five or 10 years? Do you plan on practicing as a physician in the Philippines for the rest of your life? Or do you have other plans to practice in the United States or the United Kingdom or in a different country, for example? Maybe you haven't really given thought to these things until right now, but it's important that you do so that you at least have a general idea of what you want because this will, these things will determine which medical schools you should apply for. If you do decide that you want to practice in the United States as a doctor or in another country after graduation, then there are a few other things that you should look for in a medical school before you apply there. I'll be making a whole different video on that, so make sure you stay tuned to learn more about that. After thinking about your long-term goals, the next thing that you should think about is location. Are you more of a homebody? Do you want to stay closer to your family and to your home? Or do you kind of want to spread your wings and explore a little bit more and move away from your family for medical school? Remember that online classes is a temporary thing and eventually face-to-face -face classes will resume. So why is that important to remember? Because you'll have to eventually move closer to your school and you have to keep in mind other expenses like rent, transportation, food and groceries. You also have to think about the time that you'll be spending away from your family if you decide to go to a farther medical school. The next thing that you should consider when applying to medical schools is tuition. Tuition is a very personal thing that you should discuss between you and your family, especially if they'll be the ones who'll be funding your medical school education. On average, medical school is about 80,000 to 160,000 pesos per semester. There are usually two semesters in one academic year, so that tuition number will be doubled. And also remember that tuition can change from year to year. So you, it's better to overestimate tuition than underestimate. Now, of course, tuition is not the only cost you have to pay in medical school. There are things like uniforms, your materials, your books, your electronics, and all these other things. But those are pretty standard, regardless of which medical school you, just, you decide to go to. So tuition is usually the ter determining factor. The fourth thing that you should consider when figuring out which medical schools to apply to is board passing rate. Now this is important because usually a higher board passing rate means that you'll be receiving a better quality education. Whatever your goal is in the future, in my opinion, I suggest looking at medical schools that have at least a 70% board passing rate. Why? Because that'll mean that you're getting a better education. The only drawback to this is that most schools with higher or better board passing rates tend to be more expensive. So you really have to weigh out the pros and the cons with your family to figure out if it's worth it to go to a better medical school with a higher board passing rate that's a little bit more expensive compared to a medical school that might be more affordable with a lower board passing rate. The fifth thing that you should consider when choosing a medical school is the style of teaching. Are all classes online? When will there be face-to-face? -face? How big is each section of students? What is the faculty to student ratio at that school? How is the curriculum set up? Is it more traditional or is it system-based? And who are the teachers that are teaching at this school and what are their credentials? These are some of the things that you should think about also when determining which medical schools you will apply to. What are the opportunities available to the students outside of the classroom? For example, there are some schools that have foreign exchange programs with other universities. There are some schools that allow their students to do clinical rotations in other countries. You might want to ask about the different research opportunities or student organizations on campus, because these are all things that will help enhance your experience as a student at that university. 
And my last bit of advice when it comes to choosing which medical schools to apply to is if you can, reach out to some of the current students and ask about their experiences there. Are they happy? What are some of their favorite things about the school? What are some of their least favorite things about that school? Are the faculty approachable? Are there many opportunities available for students? These are all things that are important when it comes to choosing the right medical school for you. Because remember, you'll be spending the next four years of your life at that institution. So you wanna make sure that you make an educated choice and that you know what you're getting yourself into. All right, this wraps up this video. If you found this information useful, if it's given you some clarity in helping you decide which medical school to apply to, then leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and share this information with your friends who might still be a little lost and don't know where to apply to for medical school. I'll see you in the next one.